What's going on everyone, Tech Me Out here. And in this video, we're gonna be diving a little bit deeper into a subject I touched on sometime last month regarding the Norton Core. Now, for those of you that may not be as familiar with this product, I'm gonna link some information for you down below as well as within this video, because I have talked about it before, like I stated, but ultimately what it is is a router with a lot of security features and in-app options and in-app options that are going to let you customize things a little bit further so you don't have to use you know another app or another means to go about monitoring and managing your wi-fi but something that i mentioned in that video that i did not show is basically the setup process so i mentioned that it was easy and not difficult so in this video i'm going to show you exactly how easy it is but before I do, I definitely wanna give a big thank you to Norton for teaming up with me on this one and sponsoring today's video. Okay, so for my setup process, what I have is my modem and router in one right over here, and then the Norton cord right here. I also have the power cord and the ethernet cable that were included in the package, and that's really all you need. Next, you're gonna fire up the application and you're gonna go through the setup process, so. First thing I want to know is my wireless setup. Do I have a modem and router which are separate or do I have a modem and router in one? So if you don't know the difference, thankfully they give you some more information about it at the bottom. But in my case, I know I have this configuration. So I'm gonna just tap on that. And then I'm gonna select next. So next it wants me to take the supplied ethernet cable, plug one end into the core port marked with the little globe symbol and then the other end into the ethernet port on my gateway here. So I'm gonna do that now. So now with that step complete, I'm gonna hit next. Once that step is complete, you're then going to power up your core. So now I have my core plugged in and connected to power and I'm seeing an illuminating ring down here at the bottom. Now I have to check on an LED next to the core port and make sure that it's blinking green. And as we can see, it might be a little bit hard to see, but it is blinking green, so I can proceed on to the next step. Now, it wants me to clean up the cables, and obviously, I could benefit from some cable management at the time, but I won't be doing that right now in this video, so I'm gonna hit next. Now, when you set this up, you will need some form of an internet connection on your phone. So I have that, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. Now, Core is gonna start up. It's gonna update the firmware if necessary, automatically restart. All of this could take up to 10 minutes, and it wants me to keep my smartphone near the core and the app open until the setup is complete. Now, if an automatic restart has to happen, the light ring pattern is gonna temporarily change. But ultimately, we just wanna make sure that we do not unplug or manually restart the core. But the Norton core is up to date, so I'm gonna hit next. Now, at this point, I do have to stop because I have already set up the Norton core and attached it to my own account. So I just really wanted to show you all kind of like a guided process on how I got things up and running. But ultimately, that's the gist of the setup of the Norton Core. I really kind of just wanted to give you all a visual of what I was saying in terms of the process was easy when it came to the installation of it. So if you have one and we're curious how to set it up or if you're interested in picking up one and wanted some more details in terms of what you're getting yourself into, hopefully this has answered your question. Now, in my previous video, I did dive a little bit more into some of the features that come with the application, but ultimately I've been enjoying it. I think you get a lot of information at a glance within an app. So you can pretty much manage your Norton Core and all these different things about it right from the palm of your hand. So lots of features bundled into this one section here, but I'm gonna be doing some more coverage on it. This isn't the last you're gonna see of this item. So definitely let me know your thoughts about it down below in the comments section. And as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.